All right, folks, this video is for beginners. This is a TX-10. And a TX-10, the 10 stands for a 10 water. So we're using the 10 water. There's a TX-5, that's a 5 water. And there's a TX-3, which is a 3 water. So to use this, TX-3, 5, and 10 will have similar functions. It says the TX-10 will have more features on the transmitter than the TX-305. So here's your power button. You turn the power button on. And your display lights up. This is your battery. Down here with no bars is your output. This little symbol right up here is standby mode. Then with the standby mode will come on when you have no output. Right over here is your frequencies. And then to my right on top is the milliamps, your output, the current you're putting out. Right below that is your um, voltage. And your amps and voltage right here. This is your power button. F keys the function, V keys the voltage, arrows up and down. You want to make sure you have A and V display when you're locating. If you're in ohms and you have the ohm symbol, you do not want that while you're direct connect locating. So make sure if you see the ohm symbol right here next to the V voltage, you just hit the V key and then you're back to your amps and voltage. Now to get your milliamps going your current which will be your milliamps going down the line, you have to toggle with the arrows. So to get one, one bar of output will give you five milliamps. So right now we're not hooked up and my voltage is going up trying to compensate for the milliamps. So right now I'm pushing out 229.9 voltage and it's giving me one milliamp current, one output. So anytime that you have bad continuity, your voltage will compensate for the milliamps and it will crank out as much voltage as needs to give you the most, to give you the output that you need to locate the latility. Now you toggle up, you're on two bars. Two bars will give you 50%, 50 milliamps of output. Three bars will give you 100% milliamps output. And then five bars will give you 500 milliamps, which would travel a long ways, a mile. Now I'll toggle up with one bar. And you can see I'm getting 5 milliamps of output. So my current is 5 milliamps and my voltage is 0.1 voltage. Now if I want to put more current down the line, I'll just toggle up to, for 2 bars. And you can see right now I'm getting 20 milliamps at 0.3 voltage. To say that's not enough, you toggle up and get, get to 3 more bars. I'm giving a hundred percent milliamps, great current, and my voltage is really low, 0 0.6. So that's telling me there's no resistance on the line because I'm point, at 0 0.6. And if you toggle up for four bars, it should give you 500. And right there, it's giving you 500, and I'm at 0 0.10 for voltage. So that's how you get your current down the line, is by toggling up with the arrows. So if you're in the field, and you're, you're hooked up, and you're reading zero, and you have no bars up here, you, need, you know you need to toggle up or down to get whatever current you need to go down the line. And toggle back down. Most locates 
You could you could locate any utility with five milliamps. Five milliamps might you still could get a great tone on it. It might not travel that far, but you still get a tone of five milliamps. The preferred method of locating is three bars. Giving a hundred percent milliamps out, low voltage at eight. Here's your frequency buttons. You can change your frequencies by just tapping on the on off key. And you see I'm on Hertz now. So anytime you go on a lower frequency, your output will be double. This is how you use the TRX-10 making sure you got good continuity going down the, down the line. Please like and subscribe.